A D S R. Rome. Hi guys and welcome back to ADSR Pro with me Mike Smith. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on creating a pre-master bus uh, because all of a sudden there seems to be a lot of people kind of wanting to know how to do this and you know different variations of this. I'm basically going to show you mine. Now the reason I would have a pre-master would be it means I can have eight inserts on that pre-master and then I can have another additional eight inserts on the master bus itself for precision EQing, compressing, also for visualizers so you can see exactly what's happening in your mix. So let's get started. Uh, really, really straightforward. I'm actually just going to drag some audio across so we've got uh, some audio channels. So let me just send that across and change the BPM. And what we'll do as well is let's just color coordinate these. Okay, so there we've got a few audio channels. These could also be VST instruments and MIDI tracks. And first thing I do is I go to F4 and I'm going to add group. And in this case, let's just do let's do five groups. And let's say uh, we'll let's add four effects. Okay. Let me just color coordinate these as well, just so it looks a bit nicer in the mixer. Okay. So let's basically say these effects are a reverb, a delay a phaser effect you know some vocal effects and these groups could be like a drum bus synth bus vocal group now what I like to do basically is I'm going to take one of these group faders and I'm going to drag it to the very bottom now the reason I do that is because I'm going to use this as my pre-master and let's color coordinate that red so now let me bring my mixer into view and you'll see First thing I'll do is I'll go into zones and I like to put all my groups and all my effects on the right hand side as well as the pre-master and the stereo out. Now the reason I move that group fader out, this one which we call pre-master, is because you can see now it actually puts it right next to my stereo out fader. Again it's just basic housekeeping. Um, let me just turn visibility off. Of that one right so what we have to do now is basically route all the audio into the pre-master fader so if I go to routing you can see everything's assigned to stereo out effectively what I do I mean these could be going to drum buses these audio tracks but let's just put them all to the pre-master just turn that down a bit so you can see now if I turn the pre-master fader down all the audio is muted. So that'd be the same with the groups. What we'd do is we'd send the audio from the groups again to the pre-master and also from the effects tracks they all go to the pre-master as well. Okay so any audio we create now, so let's say on one of these uh, audio channels here we have a send going to the reverb, that reverb send then, uh, the audio from that will then go into the pre-master, then it'll go from the pre-master into the stereo out. And that really is it, there's nothing special about it, there's nothing complicated about it, and you don't have to have one pre-master, you could have two if you wanted, a uh, little bit excessive. Like I say, my reason for doing it is I tend to have all my processing on the inserts of the pre-master and on my master I will have nothing other than uh, a visualizer uh, maybe a limiter. It just allows you to, to do a lot more complex mastering if you like because you've got a lot more insert slots to play with. So a really really useful tip, I hope you found it handy and if you've got any questions at all regarding this or any other questions please do get in touch and as always please subscribe to my channel until next time bye bye a d s r Rome.